Hi, my name is Nate. I'm with Butler Ag Equipment and Butler Cat. Uh, today I'm going to show you some quick uh, tips and kind of operational things on how to operate the NT-01 screen in a Fent. Today I'm in a 942 wheel tractor, but these videos will apply to uh, the FT-1100 track tractor, the FT-900 track tractor, the 1000 series, the 900 series, as well as the 800 series. Uh, first thing, um, just a quick instructional on how to set up go and end. So to, so to set up your go and end functions, the setup is underneath your tractor. And this is your go and end button where you would program all the uh, functions of the go and end sequence. Tap your go and end. On the top here you'll hit unlock and then it allows you to select which button you're going to select. So go one is the top and the middle, end one is the bottom middle, go two is the right circle, end two is the left circle. So I'm going to program the go one sequence. Just hit check mark and I'm going to hit edit offline so here you can see there's nothing in here right now, but I can add um, functions. So the first function I'm going to add, and a go one sequence on a typical, when you're do, just doing a simple tillage application, go one I usually set up as my GPS engage. So under that you're going to be in the steering wheel and auto engage check mark. So there it. Add, added my auto engage as the first function. To add another function, just click add. Here I'm going to add my hydraulic function. So just as an example, if I'm plugged into the yellow port on the back, use I'll click yellow and then just determine which way is up or down for your implement. Um, usually the minus is to put the implement in the ground. So I'll hit minus. And then I'm just going to select in the middle box, if I select the, the pointer finger, that means that um, I'll click here, that'll engage my auto steer. I'll click here, and that'll put my implement in the ground. And on my third function, I'm going to select the engine transmission, green checkbox, and I'm going to select cruise one. So there select another click check mark so now go one is set up as coming out of a headland into the field so the first time i click the button it'll engage my auto steer so i'll be online second time i click the button it'll put the implement in the ground third time i click the button it'll go to my cruise one speed then i'll hit the back button apply changes so there's my my go sequence set up now, to program the end sequence, I'm just going to hit end one, check mark, edit offline, add a new function. So here, when you're ending, coming out of, the, out of the field into the headland, the first thing we usually do is slow down. So I'm going to use the engine, and I'm going to go to my cruise two speed. So now when I click end one, my cruise 2 will activate. Here I'm going to add another function. My second click will be to lift the implement out of the ground, which is yellow. Green check mark plus will lift it out of the ground. So now the only two things I need to do is click end once. This will allow me to click it the second time. So I'll click it once. That'll slow me down to so I at the speed to make my turn click it again it'll lift the implement out of the ground I'll make my turn and then I can go back to hitting the go and end button so here I'm just going to apply the changes so now my end sequence is just two functions my go one is three functions and this is just a simple setup for uh, like a tillage application where you're just up and down